Hi there, it's Tristan back again with another video. I've got a recommendation for a cool little device that'll not only pay for itself, but also help save you money. It's the kilowatt device, and this is it right here. And what it basically does is it plugs into your uh, power, any kind of power outlet, you know, whether it be you can a wall a jack, or you can use an extension cord or even a power strip. And then you plug different devices into the front of it here, and you can actually measure the wattage of how much whatever device you plug into it is taking, whether it be on or off. And so this is really handy to figure out which devices in your home uh, have a vampire draw, which means that they would draw power even when off, which can really suck a lot of energy and end up costing you money on your electricity bills. For instance, I found that my, uh, there were a couple of components in my AV system that draw power even went off. One was my tuner, which was drawing about one and a half to two watts even went off. And another one, which was a big one, was my subwoofer. Even went off in sleep mode, it was drawing a whopping 10 watts. So all this time when I would not be using it, which is the majority of the time, or even be away on vacation, the subwoofer was continuing to draw 10 watts. I solved that problem by installing a uh, power strip with a remote control on it and I would just cut the power off to those devices when I'm not using it and that has ended up saving me money uh, on my electricity bill. Uh, another device was an old laser printer that I had. Even in sleep mode when I thought it wasn't taking any power, it was actually drawing two to three watts. I've subsequently replaced that laser printer uh, with a new one and I measured the new one naturally uh, which draws zero watts so that was uh, pretty good to see. Another thing that you can use this for is to test light bulbs to see if what, they're, uh, what they actually say is actually accurate. For instance, I found some real cheap light bulbs uh, that I had and I plugged a lamp into this and then I plugged the light bulb in. Uh, they were rated for, I think, 40 watts and they were actually drawing more than 40 watts, so not a very efficient light bulb. So these are just some few examples of how you can use this device, but it's very useful. Uh, it's not only good for you know testing devices when they're off, but you can also test the devices when they're on to see how much power they draw when they're on. So if you're just curious to see how much, you know, how many watts your TV draws, for instance, uh, you can use this uh, to you know, determine that and it uh, can be a real eye opener. Uh, but yeah, you will definitely save money on your electricity bill every month if you eliminate uh, or unplug or uh, whatever, you know, just do something about any devices that um, have vampire draws, any devices that uh, draw power even when they're off or in sleep mode. Now this has a bunch of different uh, buttons here and it has a digital display which does automatically turn on when you plug this into the power. Uh, and Okay, so I've got the kilowatt plugged in now and I'll show you what the display uh, looks like and stuff. When you first plug it in, it's displaying voltage. So this is the voltage of your system, you know, of your house system. So it says 121.4, that's about 120 volts, which is correct. I don't have anything plugged into the kilowatt, so it's not gonna measure anything uh, any draw or anything like that. That's the amp button, that's the watt button. You can see it says zero because nothing's plugged into it right now. This is the Hertz button right here. Uh, so you can see it's uh, right around 60 Hertz, which is normal for the USA. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in something here. Let's put it on the watt button. I'm gonna plug in something here and you can see how much this particular device I'm plugging in, uh, how much power it draws. This particular device happens to be a battery charger. So I plug it in. And as you can see, uh, the water starts going up. So this particular battery charger right now is drawing approximately 45 watts. As the battery finishes charging, uh, this will go down. Um, when it's completely done charging, you can see if the charger has vampire draw or not because it'll you know, register on here whether or not it continues to draw power even when the battery is charged or not. So this is just one example of where this thing can be uh, quite useful. If I press the amperage button here, it kind of tells you in amp, in amp, I don't really use this one very much, but it tells you in amperage, you know, how much amperage it takes as well. And then of course you still have the access to your volt and your hertz, which should remain relatively the same. Again, the wattage one is the one that I use the most. And as you can see, this particular charger is uh, drawing 40 two watts or something like that. Now when you're charging a rechargeable battery, you'll see that it starts out high and as the battery gets charged, it'll uh, go lower and lower in terms of how much power it's drawing. If it's not a battery charger and just a regular you know, device, um, the wattage that it's taking 
will always will generally be pretty consistent. You know, for instance, if it's a clock radio or uh, some other device like that. So that's the kilowatt system, and um, yeah, I just wanted to show that to you uh, in. I wanted to show that to you in close up so you can get a sense of how it operates. Uh, but Take I will care. say that it is a good tool to help you measure the electricity in your home and you know the health of your uh, electrical system. It so uh, it's a really handy device for the money and I do highly recommend it. So again, this is the Kilowatt P3 and I think they have another model as well or maybe a newer model available, um, but this one has served me quite well. Thanks very much for watching this video. Uh, please comment and please subscribe. It's totally free and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.